Slobodan Proljak was born on the 2nd of January 1945 and died on the 29th of November 2017. He was a Bosnian Croat engineer, film and theater director, businessman, author and retired general in the Croatian Army and the Croatian Defense Council, an army of the Croatian Republic of Herzeg Bosnia. In 2013, he was among six Bosnian Croat politicians convicted at the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, ICTI, for war crimes against Muslim population during the Croat-Bosniak War. He was sentenced to 20 years in jail. An appeal was heard in 2017 whereby Proljak, upon hearing the guilty verdict upheld, drank poison and died shortly thereafter. He drew public attention in 1991 when he voluntarily joined the newly formed Croatian Armed Forces after the outbreak of the Croatian War of Independence. He formed a unit composed of the Zagreb artists and intellectuals with whom he held positions in Sunja. Although he did not have any military education, he successfully defended this position from the technically superior forces of the Yugoslav People's Army and the Army of the Republic of Serb Krajina. After the Sarajevo Agreement, he was made Major General, received a number of responsibilities in the Ministry of Defence, and became one of the 14 members of the Croatian National Defence Council and a member of the Croatian State Commission for Relations with the United Nations Protection Force, UNPROFA. He was the High Representative of the Ministry of Defence, and since May 13, 1993, representative of the Ministry of Defense in the Croatian Republic of Herzeg Bosnia and Croatian Defense Council, HVO. From July 24 to September 8, 1993, Proljak was the Chief of Staff of the Croatian Defense Council. Among his decisions, the one to let through the UNX humanitarian convoy for Mostar, which was stopped in Sitluk, was particularly emphasized. He was also accused of ordering the destruction of Mostar's 16th century bridge in November 1993, an act that, according to the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia caused disproportionate damage to the Muslim civilian population. In November 1993, Proljak came into conflict with the commander of the HVO's punishment battalion Mladen Natilik Tutor which resulted in Proljak's resignation from the positions of HVO's chief of staff. Proljak was married to KQ Sabibik. The couple had no children, but Proljak was close to his two stepchildren Nikola and Natasa, who took his last name 